Let's spend just a few minutes on engagement. I mean, every product or service has this issue. How do you get people engaged? And for you, I see it's kind of two sides of the coin. How do you incentivize people to write that stuff? Right? I mean, uh -huh. what type of people write those articles? Because it's very time consuming. I think yeah. a lot of people say that you're making it easier, but it's still technical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we'll get on to yep. why we engage in it, which I think is an easier question. Yeah, so I mean, I, I think that the uh, to understand the editors, I think there's a couple things. Uh, one is to understand the the, the charitable purpose, uh, the idea of a free encyclopedia for every single person on the planet uh, in their own language is something that's meaningful to people. That sounds like something worth doing, and so you know, certainly, how do I feel about myself the next day if I spent two hours editing Wikipedia? versus two hours playing Warcraft, I probably feel a little bit more like I did something useful uh, with my time. I learned something, I made something that other people can find useful. It's, it's a valuable thing. It, people feel good about that. But additionally, it's just fun in, in itself that uh, you meet other smart people, uh, you get into interesting discussions. We try really hard to have a very civil community. Uh, we try to be very different from most places online. Uh, you know, my, my favorite thing to pick on is newspaper um, comments. Uh, at the bottom of newspaper articles, because basically, it's all filled with idiots ranting, um, and you just get a lot of insults. And you know, I wrote this um, co-authored an editorial for the Wall Street Journal um, about online behavior and civility, um, and it was published in the Wall Street Journal, which has a perfectly intellectual audience and uh, you know, very well-educated, affluent audience. And it took about you know the fourth or fifth comment in when those two people were bashing each other about Obama and Bush. Which, by the way, we didn't even mention Obama or Bush in the editorial. Uh, you know, one person said, "Oh, a couple more Obama bots who want to censor the internet," and the other guy goes, "Obama bots censoring the internet. It's Bush who wants to censor the internet." And I'm just like, "Fuck off, the both of you. It's not. It's nothing to do with what we we're talking about." So, in Wikipedia, we don't allow that kind of sort of. You know, it's just sort of stick to the point. Try to stick to the. Uh, the content of the article, don't insult people. Obviously, it's human beings, so there's a lot of rough and tumble, more than I would like there to be. But there is that spirit in the community that that's just not the right way to behave. So people enjoy that. It's, a, it's sort of a refreshing place where you can go and, uh, you know, you can often go on a discussion page and see a really interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they're not good, but many times they're, they're quite good. And, and you'll see, you know, somebody was doing the wrong thing. Uh, somebody explained to them why you shouldn't do it. And then they go, oh, oh, I, okay. Kind of see that, and it's like wow, amazing human beings. They're they're kind of cool sometimes. So, in terms of contribution, I think it's those two things: the the, the charitable motive, and that it's fun. Look, but there's always that other part of the human psyche where, you know, and I mean, okay, I get I get the, I get the cause, I get the, the motivation, but there's still a lot of effort. And there's this thing, whether we call it the war hole, the 15 minutes of fame, or voyeurism, or mm. soothing the ego, and, and and figuring out that hey, I've got a following, I've got I don't know what, mm -hmm. a thousand so that, articles written. Yeah, so what's interesting about Wikipedia is that that is a very minimal part of the community spirit. Um, and in fact, it's one of the things that divides our community uh, from bloggers. Bloggers do tend, and I, sometimes when I say this, it sounds negative, but I don't mean it in a negative way. They want to put forth their view of the world and have people listen and read it and respond to that. They want to write some polemics or so forth, whereas Wikipedians really just want to document the facts. and. Uh, I think both are valid. Both are perfectly valid things for people to be doing. At Wikipedia, if you come in and you want to put forward your view of the world, you're going to have a, a lot of friction, a lot of difficult time doing that. Uh, if you want, you know, public recognition, and people used to suggest, oh, you should put the, you know, the names of the authors on right on the on the page so people can get credit for it. And I'm like, nobody's asking for that who's actually writing the articles. Like people think that sounds stupid. You know, why would we do that? Uh, so that element of things. Uh, isn't it? There is. A, there, there are other elements of human psychology. There's a, a really great. I think it was XKCD comic. So it's a, a web comic where uh, you know you see a couple and uh, one of them is on on the computer uh, and the other one says, "Come on, honey, it's it's time to go to bed." Uh, and, the, and the one on the computer says, "I can't. Someone is wrong on the internet." <laughs> so there's sort of an element of that. You know, it's sort of you get you get into Wikipedia and, and you're like, ah, "If I go to bed." the whole entire world is going to crash down because this Wikipedia entry is not good enough yet. And uh, so that's a, that's a funny, I don't know, maybe that's only me. That's kind of a geek on steroids, isn't it? Yes. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty good description for Wikipedia. You know? Yeah, right, right, right. So let's talk about external engagement. I think one of the, the most amazing things is your ascendance. 
Mm, mm -hmm. and you're staying there. We'll talk about growth in a minute, but just about how did you how did you wrestle with the campaigns, the things around the audience? If I think about entrepreneurs, I think when they come up with a product or service and they think about what they need in order to drive it and get traction, you have to boil that down to some campaigns and getting people engaged. Talk a little bit about your engagement and how you got the ascendance in terms of um, traffic. Well, I mean, for us, it's always been uh, very, very organic. And uh, it's thinking about how to grow traffic uh, was never really a primary for us. The primary has always been we're going to build a really great encyclopedia, and we hope people like it. If they do, that's great. If not, we're still going to do it. Uh, and I think that kind of purity, though, is a part of the appeal of Wikipedia. Uh, people know Wikipedia isn't going to add, uh, you know, I mean, over the years, people have proposed different things. You know, why don't you add uh, free webmail accounts? You'll get a lot more traffic. Because what's that got to do with anything, right? Uh, people say, no, could you have like a Twitter, more Twitter-like interface where you can post comments on articles? You get a lot. No, because that's not writing the encyclopedia, right? We only do one thing, and we're really, really good at that one thing, uh, and we're really proud of that, and we don't care. Uh, if, if we could get more traffic by doing something else, we just don't care. But that's one of the reasons we get so much traffic, because it's something really pure. And I think a lot of businesses uh, could, could benefit from that. Uh, you know, instead of chasing the latest fad, um, you know, sort of building a long-term substantial business by knowing we're going to do one thing that people really like and we're going to be good at it. And that's that, you know, and, and we're not going to offer silly coupon campaigns or, uh, you know, we don't care about Groupon because whatever, you know. Uh, what we care about is when people come into our coffee shop, when they leave, they go, I think I'll come back tomorrow. And why do we do good? We make good coffee and we have a nice experience in the store. So I, I, I just think there's a lot... Uh, a lot of marketing, uh, in the old days, marketing could paper over problems in your product. Today, that doesn't work anymore, particularly not on the internet. I mean, if your product sucks, people are going to say your product sucks, and that's that. And um, having said all that, right, mm -hmm. there is this very difficult problem for a new product, a new entrepreneur. Um, how do you get attention? How do you get, a tr you know, traction on the internet? And I think that's different for every product and different for every... Uh, you know everything that you're building. Uh, you know a lot of the broad principles are quite well understood. Um, you know things like being viral. You know is there an element of what you're what you're offering to people that encourages them to offer it to their friends? Uh, that's really powerful because if you if you get that right, obviously something can spread very very quickly. Um, you know things like um, well I still I still am a big proponent and I, I don't know why more websites don't do it of easy URLs. I think that's just like one of the most simple, you know, people think I'm some kind of SEO genius because we're at the top of, of Google all the time. But if you ask me, the only SEO genius is simple URLs. I mean, everybody knows. If I say Thomas Jefferson, I bet you, maybe not everybody in the room, but I bet almost everybody in the room knows to type en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Thomas underscore Jefferson. Boom, there's the page. So if you're a blogger and you're thinking about linking to something, you know how to link to it. You don't have to go search for it and copy and paste a complicated URL. It's just there. People know how to find it. I think that's very powerful because it gets you, you know, sort of those incremental links when people would have linked to you. So for a lot of th websites, you just you're looking at the URL structure and you're just like, okay, I came back to the website. I think I know where I'll, I don't know how to find it. So you go back to Google and you look. It's, it's a nightmare.